Good morning, it's Tuesday, the third day of our 21 days of prayer. Hey, I hope that you can spend a little bit of time today reading God's Word, spending some time writing down some thoughts in a journal, a prayer journal, or something along those lines, and spending some quiet time, you, praying and listening to what God might be whispering into your heart. Listen, I know these days there's a lot of stuff that can distract us, a lot of things that can cause us to worry, but I want to encourage you all over again that during this phase of time, we have an opportunity to encounter God in a way we've never done before. Every time we face a new circumstance, a new situation, it gives us an opportunity to encounter God in a new way. And so no matter what you're dealing with, I just ask that today, you would reach out to God and say, God, show me something new and allow me to receive the new thing you have for me today. Today we're going to be listening to a very brief video clip from Carrie Bowen. And I hope this is an encouragement to you. So I ask that you would watch it prayerfully and then join with her in the things that she's praying about and allow her story to communicate to you in a way that would prompt your own prayer life and help you to understand maybe what God is leading you into these days. Hi. Um, this has taken me forever. Um, yeah, as you can see, in my bedroom. Um, long story short-ish, my husband, um, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half, decided to quit his chemistry job and go to school for business. He got a job at Walmart. Um, I let him go ahead and get a job at Walmart. My original plan was to stay with a school job, set schedule, great schedule. Um, about September, I realized that chemistry jobs um, and business jobs were not as plentiful as they once were. And um, Eric was going to need some help salary-wise if he was going to work at Walmart. Um, so I decided to go back to work. Um, a friend of mine told me about Family Express. I applied. Um, I went to orientation. Um, found out I was going to be in their pizza kitchen. Absolutely was not happy about this. At all. <laughs> was really upset. Like, come home. Oh my gosh, it's food service. I hate food service. What am I doing here? Etc, etc. Because I've worked for McDonald's. Hated it. Worked at the school cafeteria job. Hated that more. Um, but um, some good friends of mine said, well, just go ahead and pray about it. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> pray about it. Why? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll pray about it. Um, and then another friend of mine said, you know what? Go ahead and give it a shot. Um, if you don't like it, you can always talk to the manager about being on the store side. If you really don't like it. Um, or And if they can't do that, then you can always say, I'm sorry, this isn't going to work. I said, yeah, that makes sense. So I went ahead and tried it. Um, kicking and screaming. <laughs> Absolutely going, oh my gosh. Um, well, it's now August of 2020. Um, and it turns out that I absolutely love this job. I absolutely love what I do. Um, love the company. Um, and while I am cross-trained now on both the store side and the kitchen side, um, I actually... <laughs> try and stay on the kitchen side because I actually love it that much which is totally not what my plan was totally not what I saw myself loving but you know God has a sense of humor um, and now um, I just recently got promoted to kitchen supervisor senior food service specialist so now I am in charge of ordering inventory for the kitchen training new people and doing those sorts of things so not only was prayer answered in a weird way um, he, God definitely has a sense of humor. You know, I hope that was a great encouragement to you. Would you join me in a word of prayer? Lord God, we recognize that times like these are confusing and strange because we've never been here before. But the bottom line is, Lord, when you lead us into a new place, it's a new opportunity. It's a new way for us to get a new glimpse of a new angle of who you are and who you made us to be. 
Lord, I pray that you would give us courage today to walk in that. I pray that you would give us the opportunity today to live it out. And I pray that you would allow us to be a blessing to the people around us. Because we are those who know there's a bigger purpose for all of this. And we are those who know that you can grow us and shape us into what we were made to be through the midst of all of these trying times. And so, God, we lift up our hearts to you and we say, would you lead us today? Help us to love you even more. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Spend some time in prayer. Spend some time in God's word. And let that lead you into the rest of this day. God bless you.